TNT champion the bell sounds. And here we go. Cody used that figure four to win his match against Sean Spears. Which maybe kind of surprised everybody. The crossroads has been used. He's used the Gale Lock to win matches, but the figure four was a great win and a surprising win after Sean Spears had kicked out of the double crossroads. Joe trying with a single leg takedown. Cody sends him back into the corner now. Interesting uh, comments from the head coach of the Nightmare family, Arn Anderson, about getting ready for the second round match. Who would he prefer? And he said, really, it would be Sammy Guevara. Collar and elbow tie up. Alonzo trying to move Cody back to the corner, but Cody a great go behind that time. Alonzo is showing some ability. Good arm drag. No, no, no. Twist. And Cody counters with that as well. And really, you take a look at the at the matchup. Cody has faced both Sandy Guevara and Darby Allen. Had that time limit draw with Darby Allen. He and Sandy Guevara faced each other in the very first match on AEW Dynamite back in October. And then there's the fact of the the inner circle. If Sandy Guevara moves on, Cody must be concerned about the inner circle and concerned that the battles the inner circle have had with the elite in the past. Cody with a handshake and a look at a kick in the back by Alonzo, Alonzo with a little attitude now. And Cody seems to be injured. Back in the corner they go. And trying to slide drop kick that time. Cody out of the way and a great move out of the corner with a power slam. Alonzo in trouble and Cody picking him up. Holding him up. Maybe a brain buster suplex him in out of this. We'll see. Still has him up. And he drops him face first down. Cody in great shape. Wow. Get himself pumped up, fired up for that. And the uppercut from the American Nightmare Cody. Trying to win his eighth match here in 2020 and keep the momentum alive heading to the semifinals of the tournament. Alonzo scoots down out of the way to try to... Oh, please stop. What it... Turning his attention to Brandy at ringside, which is a critical mistake. And now the apron of the ring. Here's Cody again, sending him face first to the apron. Boy, that really lit a fire under the American Nightmare. He's going to send him in three times. Third time, rolls him in. Cody back to the ring again. Oh, big mistake. Snap married him down. And Alonzo trying a moonsault, springboard from the middle rope. Delking out of the way, and a cutter from Joe Alonzo. How about that? No effect at all on the American Nightmare. Oh, and a big foot sent Alonzo down. Alonzo thinking the cutter had given him the advantage. He was wrong. Cody's got him set up for the crossroads. Alonzo saw it coming, rolls him up, and he got a two count out of that. Wow. Leg sweep, taking him down. Cody hooking him up. Maybe the figure four, maybe a gale lock. Let's see. He's got him in. Hooked into a gale lock. And turns him over. Alonzo trying to get out and taps, and that is it. The American Nightmare Cody uses the gale lock to get the win. Here's After your he winner the by figure submission. Four to get the win in the opening round. And now for the American Nightmare, Cody, he will await the winner of Darby Allen, Sandy Guevara, to see who will move on to the championship round of the TNT tournament. Cody now eight and three here in 2020. Got the win over Alonzo. Looked like he was gonna hit him with the belt, but now he decides to shake the hand 